What's up, everybody? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to talk about the principle of investment. Okay, so there's multiple ways a girl can invest in you. She can invest temporally, okay, by spending time with you. She can invest emotionally by developing feelings for you, by getting to know you, etc. She can invest physically, okay, that's through hooking up with you, having sex with you, etc. Okay, and the basic rule is that the more investment you have, the easier it is to get compliance. Okay, remember at the center of my motto is compliance. When you open, it's a compliance test. When you go to escalate physically, okay, when you go for a makeout, that's a compliance test. When you try to isolate to go in the venue, that's a compliance test. When you ask her for her phone number, that's a compliance test. When you try to take her home, that's a compliance test. Okay, just even having her pay attention to you in a nightclub is a compliance test, okay? Um, her replying to your texts, her continuing to text you, her showing up for a date, okay? Her deciding to come back to your house afterwards, etc., 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 are all compliance tests. So just keep in mind that as you spend more time with a girl, the easier it is going to be for her to comply, okay? In a practical sense, that means that ties into if you watch my rotations video on how to um, build a harem or build a rotation or keep a girl around as a regular. I'm talking about how you need to get in three dates as quick as possible. Why is that? Because investment fades over time and you don't have enough investment built up yet from just that one date where she's now on lock. Lots of guys make the mistake and they think that they can just bang a girl once or they can have one good date and then that girl's a regular. Like I'll have students or, or friends that will text me be like, yeah, I just had this good date with a girl. Like now she's going to be my main rotation girl or now she's on rotation. Usually that's not the case, okay? And as time passes, okay, let's say you get a phone number. I, I tell guys the general rule is that phone numbers go cold within about a week, okay? So you want to meet up with that girl as soon as possible. You get the phone number lead, you want to meet up, you want to take her home that night if possible. If not, you want to meet her the next day. If not, then, if she's not free, then you want to meet up as soon as possible that the both of you are free, okay? And if you're working a whole bunch of volume and a whole bunch of phone numbers, a whole bunch of leads, which you should be, then you're going to have to prioritize. You're going to take the hottest, coolest ones and see them first, okay? Then once you go on that date, maybe you close, maybe you don't, you want to set up that second date as soon as possible after that. And the same principle holds true on the second meetup. You want to set up the third meetup as soon as possible after that. And this isn't a set in stone rule, but the general guideline is that after you've had about three separate meetups and closes, okay, then she is on rotation, okay? And the sequence for which I'll do that to build the proper investment is I'll do coffee or drinks on date number one. Date number two, I almost always do dinner, usually Italian, because I like Italian food. And then number three, um, lots of times I'll have her come over and watch a movie or I will, you know, do either a restaurant again or coffee or drinks again. OK, I don't like to do dates like going out to the movies because you don't have time to build up any connection with her. That's a better activity to do with a rotation girl. OK, and then once she's on rotation, you just want to see her about once a week. That'll maintain her level of investment. Okay? But early on. Leads are going to slip through the cracks if you don't work them properly. Okay, my leads machine product, guys are saying, when does the sale end? Basically, at the end of today. Today is Thursday, uh, the 24th. I let it run till the end of the day. Um, act now if you have not already. I'll put the link in the description. 87% off. In that product, I tell you how to work your leads as effectively, efficiently, optimally and quickly as possible to give you the maximum number of meetups and build the maximum number of investment, maximum amount of investment with the best girls, okay? So that you can move as many from the phone number collection, lead acquisition phase, to the dates phase, to the closing phase, and then from the closing phase to the retention phase, okay? So what you're left with when the dust settles is a set of awesome regulars, of awesome harem girls, an awesome rotation okay so once you're good at this once you're running the whole system effectively and properly you can move to any new city and build up a rotation 
of three to five girls within a few weeks. Okay, you can get up into the five to ten girl range within a month to a month and a half. And that may be where you choose to stop. Okay. Rotation's always in flux and make a separate video about that. There's always new girls coming into rotation and former rotation girls busting out of the rotation for various reasons. Some girls will get a boyfriend. Some girls feel like they're not getting enough of an emotional connection <laughs> or whatever it may be. Uh, she's moving, etc. Plus there's new cool girls coming into the funnel all the time. So this rotation will be in flux. The, the average life cycle for a rotation girl for me is maybe two to three months. Um, even if things are going fine or well at that point, I usually start becoming a little bit bored of their personality and or of the sex. It's, it's just becoming too predictable. I'd rather have a new 8 or a new 8.5 or above replace that girl just because you have like that honeymoon phase in the beginning where it's all fireworks, it's all fun, it's all spontaneous, you're getting to know a new person, etc. But the, the quality ones, in Poland I had rotation girls that were on the rotation for over a year, okay? If, you're, if I'm still, each one is on a case-by-case -case basis, if I'm still enjoying the time with her, I'm still enjoying the sex with her, things are still more fun than they would be with a new girl that could replace her, then I will keep her around. Okay, that's the whole beauty of this. Okay, you have your option. It's not, oh, I'm just going to take anything I can get. I'm going to take this occasional fat, drunk girl just because I have no other options. Instead, it's I have my options from all these hot chicks, and there's always new hot chicks coming in. Okay, so I'm not desperate for any of these girls I'm currently seeing or for any of the new ones. None of them are like a super big deal to me. If a girl drops off the radar, it's not the end of the world, etc. And that, and ironically and paradoxically, the less you give a shit, and you, may, you might have heard this before, the less you give a shit, genuinely, not just acting like you don't give a shit, the more they will want you, okay? The fact that you can are willing, they call it in stupid game terms, the willingness to walk away, or they call it abundance versus scarcity. But the general idea is, it's supply and demand. When you have a whole bunch of fucking supply, right? Then you don't, or I don't know how the fuck, <laughs> like mismatching terms here. Basically, if you have a whole bunch of options, you don't give a fuck. You're not desperate to get an, a new girl on board. You're not desperate to keep her around. Okay, and then all of that flows to your behaviors. Okay, even for guys at my level, even after 1,100 chicks or other advanced guys I know, if you, um, you know, settle down with one chick, make her your monogamous girlfriend, or if you spend too much time with like, your main rotation chick and you start to get attached and catch a whole bunch of feelings, then lots of times that can drive your your mindset, your frame, et cetera, your behaviors in a negative direction. Why? Because now this girl is a huge deal to you. Now you really don't want to lose her. Now you care what she's doing when you're not around. Is she texting other guys? Is she seeing other guys? Okay, and it's going to come from all these, this weak uh, beta mindsets, okay? But when you're seeing a bunch of girls at once, then those things fall into place. So I'll leave you with that. Keep the ideas of investment in mind. You can't ask for a big compliance test before you've built up investment. Okay, so that, this, this ties into if you're going for a makeout really soon in the interaction, she doesn't know you well enough. Okay, if you're trying to bring her home from the date before you've built up the vibe and built up, you know, a bunch of attraction, it's too soon and she's probably not going to comply. She's not invested yet. Okay, if you don't see her soon enough after you get the phone number, it's very possible that she's going to drop off the radar. Even if you guys had a great conversation in person, she just hasn't built up enough investment in order for her to see you again. Same thing applies if you have a great first date or even a great first and second date. It's a little easier in the first and second date case because you have more investment quantitatively and qualitatively. But if you have a great first date and you don't get that second one in soon enough, okay, typically it's great to have it within three days after the, the first one. So let's say I have a date on a Monday. I usually don't see them the very next day, but I'll try to set it for Wednesday if possible. If she's not free or, or our schedules don't fit for that Wednesday, I'll make it for Thursday, all right? And if you can't get another formal date in there, you at least want to meet for a quick coffee or you, you at least want to continue to text her, okay? So you're keeping that vibe and investment going to get her to comply with meeting you again so you can build more investment and more time, basically, so that now she's going to be locked on your rotation, okay? That's the end goal here is to get them locked in either as a rotation girl or as a girlfriend, whatever your, whatever your particular goal is there, and also have them compliant and actually liking you and 
chasing you and kissing your ass, etc. Okay, hope that was helpful. If you're interested in the deal, it'll end tonight at midnight. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.